We're very pleased to have partnered with the governments of Bulgaria and Moldova on two anti-corruption cohorts for the Summit for Democracy. We're also very grateful uh, to our two long-standing civil society partners, the Center for the Study of Democracy and Transparency International, to have worked so wonderfully alongside us on this endeavor. I look forward to presenting the findings at the upcoming conference in Korea and of course to many years of working with partners to implement the recommendations for a more successful fight against corruption. The Summit for Democracy highlights the fact that no democracy is immune to corruption, that uh, good governance is not a final destination but a constant process for of reaffirming the democratic values, the check and balances system, the rule of law. And in this process, we see not only work, but actions. Actions that will stop the siphoning of public resources from our country to the benefit for our citizens, for the benefit of Bulgaria and the global citizenship. To achieve real progress in the fight against corruption, we need all stakeholders involved, from civil society, and from other states committed to democratic principles. That's why we're happy for the support offered by the Basel Institute on Governance and by Transparency International in achieving our objectives under the Summit for Democracy and for cooperating with our Bulgarian counterparts. Civil society and international democratic leaders have been at the forefront of anti-corruption reforms globally in Southeast Europe. We have achieved a lot in preventing and fighting back oligarchic networks and state capture. Yet, it is only through public-private partnerships, through engaging constructively government institutions and the private sector, that we can achieve sustained anti-corruption efforts, resilience and democracies that deliver. Dismantling organized kleptocratic networks requires collaboration on global, regional and local levels. The Summit for Democracy Anti-Corruption Cohort with Moldova has brought together state and non-state actors. This gives it a far greater probability of having real impact on the ground, making a difference and not only resulting in high-level commitments.